Congratulations on wanting to start your first eTrade account. Now, we'll get into the steps in a moment, but I'd just like to share some invaluable information with you guys. Say you're moving from Robinhood, Scott Trade, or maybe you haven't even started investing yet. You just have kind of the idea in your mind. Maybe you have a few stocks you have uh, that you're looking at, or you might not have a plan yet. You're not sure kind of what your risk tolerance is. Um, once you put in all your contact information, your basic personal information, and create your account, you don't need to fund your account immediately. This gives you the chance to familiarize yourself with the E-Trade platform. Uh, you can create watch lists, you can track securities, and you can just kind of look into what options you have with E-Trade. I wish I would have known this when I started because this would have took take out a whole lot of time that I put in as far as logistics go. So basically you don't need to fund your E-Trade account once you create it. You can wait as long as you want. Um, I just wish that maybe I would have uh, known that as well. So. Let's get into the how to create your E-Trade account. So, we're going to log onto the web, click E-Trade, and then we're going to open a new account because you don't have one. So there are three types of brokerage accounts you can choose from. The individual, the joint, and the custodial account. The individual states that you must be over 18 years old, you are the sole owner and sole benefitor of the account. Next is the joint account, which is owned by two equal partners Usually if um, you know, you'd like to pull your money together with an associate and invest equally. Next is the custodial account. An account that'll get you, that'll get you access to E-Trade if you're under 18 years old. Um, this account will be under your parents' jurisdiction, so kind of keep that in mind um, when you're looking to invest. I myself, I waited until I was 18 just so that I can have the full power to my account. Uh, whether it be good or bad. If I lose money, then it's all on me. If I win money, it's all on me. So I just kind of wanted to start it all by myself and you know, kind of be self-made if you would. <laughs> Basic contact information is needed as well. Uh, first name, last name, they ask for your middle initial if you have a prefix or a suffix at the end of your name and um, email as well. So we'll just get that in right now. Uh, next, is, next is more contact information. Uh, street name, address, zip, all your basic contact information um, as far as your house goes. Phone numbers are next. Uh, don't forget to click cellular if applies. I just click cell phone just because uh, if I were to click the home phone, then it asks me for my cell phone as well. And I just think it's easier to have everything on my phone since I will be doing some trades uh, via you know my iPhone. So it's fine just to do cell phone. Uh, next will be your tax information, social security, country of residence, uh, we'll say USA for practicality, marital status, uh, single uh, for me, um, dependents, one including myself because I'm single. That's an important, so don't mess that up. Don't say zero. I don't even think zero is an option, but keep it at one. Uh, next is your employment information. I myself, I'm a student, so I'm just going to click student. And, um, you know, I go to school full time. I do have a part time job as well, but uh, student will be the best option for you just because uh, if you're going full-time student there's no need to put your employer if it's you know not somewhere you're gonna be for quite a while next is assets and net worth um, just for example sake we'll go with the lowest options uh, we'll just click those uh, next is investment activity so basically how much trading you're going to do um, which what your objectives are uh, if you're gonna be trading in your experience um, the rest I can't do in this video because it's your account setup features. Um, you know, we put obviously fake information, fake social security, fake phone numbers. So the rest is kind of for you to get. Um, it's very quick. You'll just basically go and be able to create your account, create your watch list like I talked about before and kind of get into the account. Your account will be finished. So that's that.